fell out of that strange hole in the sky. Clever girl. Mother says I meddle. Perhaps. I know everything. Ask me. What's happened here recently? Alina, the village chief's daughter, will soon marry. For gold, Mother says. Right. Mother also says Alina's sister, Selina, yearns for Julian. He's Alina's fiancé who lives at the inn. What does yearn mean? She really likes Julian. Oh, then Julian yearns for Alina, Selina yearns for Julian, and Alina likes Julian's gold but yearns for Adam. Adults are stupid. Undeniably. I know everything. Ask me. Do you know who I am? You have white hair, like every grandpa. You're ugly, but I like you. That's lucky. I know everything. Ask me. I saw a city. The submerged city of an ancient race full of treasure and monsters. Now fish people live there. I fear them, but the one sitting by the statue of the lady seems jolly. I'm losing track. And I sometimes take fish to the sick and poor elves when the fisher king catches them. And on the island you can meet the lady. More beautiful than Alina. She yearns too. I'm completely lost. Stupid adults. How can you take care of us when you don't understand and you're always yearning? Is the shore safe? Yes. Sometimes those evil fish people creep out of the water and drive off the funny fishermen. I hide under the fisherman's hut. Clever. Of course. What is this place? This is the shore. Beyond lies murky waters and beyond that fields. By boat, you can get to the island. You do know a lot. I know everything. Ask me. Welcome, warrior. Greetings. If not for my woes, I'd rejoice in a swim with you. What concerns you? Let's talk. You mentioned woes. Terrible indeed. I lost my turquoise necklace as I swam in moonlight, a gift from the Lady of the Lake. Where did you swim? I usually bathe in the lake, yet that night I dared the river near the village. Sadly, the drowners abide there, led by Zephyr. Who's Zephyr? Once one of Vizima's most famous thieves. He moved as quietly as the wind, and quite handsome. And now? He once escaped to the sewers, but his loot proved too heavy. He joined the drowned dead, but old habits rarely die as easily. He still steals? Of course. Doubtless he stole my necklace. The drowners ever protect him. I'll search for your necklace. How wonderful! I have no gold with which to pay. But perhaps some trinkets could prove useful. It's a deal, then. I shall await you at the end of the beach, in an enchanting lagoon. How do I find Zephyr? If you slay enough drowners, he'll appear to discover the problem. Remember, drowners only venture out at night. Where do I find the drowners protecting Zephyr? They gather at night here on the shore. If you borrow a boat, you may reach the island where you'll find others. Some linger near the village. Gerald! Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me, too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh... Hmm... Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there are the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes. Unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? 
Not exactly. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm-hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selena can be found anywhere. Your fiancé's spending time at the inn? We're not speaking, he's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Malatella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we going to kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play Kill the Elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Any elves around? They camp nearby, but look like nothing from epic poetry. Ill and starving. Many have perished. Are they peaceful? Entirely. Mr. Tobias sought to help them, but the she-elf leader refused human charity. Typical elves. Farewell. Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. Good morning, witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not... Whoa, I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. 
Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. Geralt, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Ah, oh, yeah! I have a dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over. Welcome to my inn, traveler. Greetings. If you're weary, rest. If you wish food or drink, call my daughter. I will. Make yourself at home. Thanks. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, Traveller. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. Tell me about Tobias. He lives in the village but prepares for a wedding, so likely has no time. I'll talk to him anyway. If he's occupied, try speaking with his future son-in-law, Julian. Thanks for the advice. May I help you? The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Now the Vodianoi inhabit the city. Vodianoi? An ancient underwater race. We used to respect each other, but relations have worsened. Tell me about them. They appeared long ago, before the city was engulfed. They live in underwater palaces. They produce tools and baubles, including the famous Stones of Is, supposedly magical. Their warriors, though fierce in battle, seldom attack on land. They chiefly drive away treasure hunters. An underwater race of rational beings. Interesting. How can I help? One thing. Yes? You must know some interesting stories. Sure! I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago... In a valley far away lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not? I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, witcher. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing, had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen, but fate had other plans. Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witcher. She gained a new family at Caer Moran, the hold of the witchers. She learned to fight. Yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. She was a source. The witchers feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress, learning to love killing. Death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the witcher and the sorceress denied death's calling. 
fate cast her to foreign shores, yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. When she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the Witcher and Sorceress, only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the Witcher. The Sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. What's that matter? Greetings, witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather? May Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land, a piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped, but soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was forty-seven, had rheumatism and a collection of bobolac scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him, and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract. They became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. Neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Gerald? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you. Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but has killing people become a pleasure for you? I only kill humans in self-defense. <sighs> like the old days. Try as we might, we just can't seem to cull the population of vicious SOBs. I sense we haven't seen the worst of them yet. Be careful. I will. Gerald? 
So, what will the new ballad be about? It'll be a masterpiece, in verse. Interesting, horrifying, romantic. And the story? Engaging and straight from life. I changed my mind, see? Poets don't need to embellish. Life is colorful enough. Aim to write about peasants working the fields? Dandelion, I know you better than that. Not as well as you think. You'll see. Why do you seek me? Has Alvin been behaving strangely? He told some terrible stories. I thought him delirious. What did he say? Something about ghosts condemned to suffer eternally by unrequited love. It was so... Romantic, I know. I'll find him. Why do you seek me? I saw Julian and Selena together, but don't get Ben out of shape. Selena's starved for attention. Julian didn't seem really interested. Selena can be unbearable, but she'll change if she marries. And Julian, well, he loves me, and no argument can change that. I merely wanted to be sure Julian was well, without him knowing or thinking I was concerned. Thank you, Witcher. Ah, women. Geralt of Rivia himself. You're renowned in the ghost world. Alvin, step away. Summoned ghosts can be very dangerous. I just wanted to use the power like Triss. Normally I'm kind, just lonely of late. I'd like Alvin to keep me company playing dice. He's a clever boy. Leave him alone. A classic solution, then. Let's play for him. The loser leaves the boy to the other. You don't stand a chance. Confident. Splendid. You saved me. I was scared. Everything's all right. I know. What drew you to these ruins? The hermit told me they were magic. Triss said I'd learn to cast spells someday. I like magic. Happiness never lasts. I had no right to expose Alvin that way. The salamanders don't know the concept of mercy. They'd stop at nothing. I wasn't made to be a father. I'm a witcher. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. Her. I have a gift for you. You like this dimeridium necklace? Well, necklaces are for girls. This'll keep your nightmares at bay. I wear one too. An amulet like yours! Do you want to live with Alina and Julian? I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Do you want to live with ordinary people? We just protect people like these. Simple, defenseless, normal. Put on the necklace. Dwan, look into my eyes. See your death. I don't need to hear this. You're not even human. Alvin. Now do you see the necessity of this action, no matter the price? Garrett, open your mind. Yes? You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin. Okay, I'll stop. How did you get to Murky Waters? I was learning the Elder Language with Triss. There was a terrible storm. Then Triss told me to hide under the bed. Go on. I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. Then Triss got angry at those men. Angrier than she was when I colored her dress with magic paint that is only seen in the dark. I can imagine. I heard cries and people falling down the stairs, and I smelt burnt meat. Then more men came through the windows on ropes. They got Triss and beat her, I think. And a man in glasses asked her where I was. She said she teleported me to a friend in Kuvir, where the air is clean and there are many things to do. What happened then? The one in glasses said something about playing with her, and Triss said you would find him and kill him. Mm-hmm. And then she kicked him between the legs and he started crying. And the others were afraid to get close to her because she started casting spells. Yeah, Triss is good at taking care of herself. Don't worry about her. Then someone ordered the room to be searched and they found me. 
I ran, and they chased me, and I was running so fast. But then I tripped, and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared, more than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I won't go back there. They'll hurt me. Trish should come here. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. Be good. I'll see you later. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Alf. Have you forgotten me? Much time has passed since our encounter at the end of the world. I lost my memory. No matter. I am called Teruvial, and I am pleased to find you again. Me too. What brings you here? You mentioned we met. In Dol Blatana, the Valley of the Flowers. A most beautiful place. I granted Dandelion the lute he now plays. Meeting you changed me. I once hated humans without exception. Your words planted doubt. When the war brought all that hatred, I realized there was another way. I'm glad. As am I, Witcher. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We're wounded and hungry. Negotiations with the peasants went poorly. Our dignity is all we have left. What can I do? You could buy fresh bread. Twenty orange should cover five loaves. I'll return soon. Hmm? Greetings. You're the Fisher King, right? Mm hmm? Hmm. Well, I have a professional interest in the area. You see, I'm a witcher. Any monsters in the lake? Hmm. Amphis Benas? Dragonflies? Water creepers? No. Hmm. I see. The lake's safe. While we're talking... Mm -hmm. The mirage of a beautiful city appeared by the lake. Mm -hmm. The city might be submerged, am I right? Mm -hmm. Inhabited by the Vodianoi? Mm -hmm. They get along with humans? Mm -hmm. I handled something similar once. I can help. Mm -hmm. So I guess I should talk to representatives of both communities. <sighs> Later. Welcome, Geralt. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. For you do not know it, but I know you. By reputation. I should warn you, Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Shinaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Shinaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Aglival and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vodianoi of Iz tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Shinaz mentioned your intelligence. I invite you to use it. Speak with the Vodianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. Hosts of knights once defended my honor. But that was long ago. My poor sickly fisher king alone remains. Lady, what happened to those hosts in shining armor? I fought the legend of the Holy Grail. My bold knights, I know not why, determined to embark on a mission. They claimed it their destiny to find the Holy Grail. Alas, my powers cannot vanquish destiny. I failed at guiding the poor wretches onto the right path. The Grail was never found? Just so. Know you the legend of the Grail? I lost my memory. Speak with a hermit watching over the graves of those brave seekers. Though boring, he knows the Grail's legend perfectly. I'll visit him. If you return intent on a mission of paramount importance, 
believe me, I can be unpleasant. Milady, they say I returned to life but lost my memory. Can you help me? I know you didn't return by chance. First, you must answer. Do you believe in destiny? I believe in something more. Mysterious and confident. You will regain your identity and achieve your aim. Yet you evade my questions. Perhaps this something more you speak of requires other than a simple choice between destiny and free will. My beliefs defy easy classification. Let's discuss something else. I'm glad to see you. What happened? Alina went for a walk in the fields and hasn't returned. I'm losing my mind. Get out, please help me. Fine. I'll go look for her. Thank you. Hey Geralt! These fields are great to play in. Do you have the necklace? I wear it constantly. Do you still have nightmares? Not when I nap during the day, but at night. I have strange dreams. You needn't tell me. I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Geralt, I'm not surprised to see you. It's me, Chiridan. Recognize me? Chiridan? Apparently not. You were busy. It's been some time. True, Geralt. And see what's come of it. A mess, not assimilation. You work hard, you pay taxes, then come the pogroms. You flee as they torch your tavern. Hard times. Good you're here. Why are you here? Same as the rest, eating berries and dreaming of my place on Earth. Try doing something else. Guerrilla warfare can be dangerous. I've survived that. Humans prevented me from living as I wished to. Disdainful times. More bad luck round the corner. Farewell. Yes? I bought bread. I'm pleased we didn't misplace our trust. Here, five loaves. I thank you. Moments like these make me think we can end this spiral of hatred and accept each other as we are. Let's talk. I have your necklace. Splendid. Now your reward. I'll grant you a book on the Vodianoi, the Earth Rune, or I'll treat your wounds whenever you need. The book about Vodianoi. It is yours, though it's such a dull tome. Thank you. Take this token as a memento. The amulet will protect you from drowners. I know something you don't. Like what? The funny fishman has come back. Those evil fish people finished eating from the lady's altar. Disgusting! The Vodianoid priest has returned. I must speak with him. And I'm Geralt. Pleased to meet you. I don't speak your language. Your language I speak very well. Evidently. Let's talk. Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel must be dagger man and battle. No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? Exact. All right. Talk. Gold pull tal hole. Everything all right? Great sadness. No peace in house. I'm sorry to hear that. Talk. Gold pull tal hole. What's Witcher in your language? Witch malal bull. Witch malal? Which malal bull? Bull must be. No bull means idiot. <laughs> All right, then I'm which malal bull. 
<laughs> yes, Homer, so you be. <laughs> I saw a hostile Vodianoi on the shore. They be evil Dagon Malbatol. This love lady's altar and must had flee. Now they in water and I guard altar again. Got any work for someone skilled with a sword? Gul, bull. Humans great enemies to Vodianoi. Hire Witcher Big for Vodianoi to kill. Witcher Big at crypt. We love wish humans. Yet humans swim our waters. Did I hear you right, another witcher? Gralol, exact, disloving ghouls at crypt. I need to speak to him. Farewell. Berengar, mysterious witcher and outcast. I finally found him. What do you want, witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait, because a wraith and some brookside will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Think I can't? <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen saw to that. Nice style, but not perfect. During a half pirouette, you leave your groin unprotected. I don't think so. I'll demonstrate when we get out of here. I don't intend to discuss swordplay. What do you know about Salamandra? <laughs> Straight to the point. Know why I'm laughing, Geralt? No. I'm laughing at you. So, witchily, fast, deadly, and sure of yourself. With your unwavering sense of what's right. Think you're better than me? I don't know. But I don't want to fight you. Oh, that's right. The code forbids it. Watch it. Here they come again. That was easy enough. Berengar, I'm not about to get killed by a few Bruxae, if that's what you were hoping for. Let's talk. Who said I wanted to talk? You gonna force me? I hadn't intended to. I was thinking. That since we're both witchers, somehow we'd come to an agreement? To me, you're no better than that scoundrel the Professor. You're just a bigger hypocrite. So you worked with Salamandra after all? I never said that. Shit. Looks like we're done here. Can we talk? Fine, but not here. Let's go outside. Sit by my fire. Finally. All right, what's so urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of Witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The Witchers made me a mutant. The Professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. I have the distinct feeling you're not telling me everything. How perceptive. There is one more thing. Salamandra wants Alvin. I don't know why, but he's important to them. They sent me here to find him, but I have no intention to. I just want to earn some arms and leave, for good. So, you know nothing more about the attack on Kaer Morhen, about the stolen Witcher's formulae? Not a thing. Then I have just one request. Stay away from Alvin. Yeah. You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little Witcher had heard it. Tell me. The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed Witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a Witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior tactical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light. Perfect for a witcher. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor and knows the legend. You could also try the elven handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. 
You leave your groin open when you do a half spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sainted legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? By the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him. If it's not beneath you. I see.